What's up, Scorpio, and welcome to my channel. I hope all of my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios out there are doing well. All right, y'all, so we're going to get into this reading. If anything resonates for you, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment. Let your girl Blue Flame know what's going on. And if you're interested in a personal or anything else you want to know about me, will be in the description box below. All right, Scorpios, let's go. So we have stop overthinking. So some of you guys are really overthinking. I feel like you've been spending a lot of time to yourself, possibly isolating, but I feel like you're being more focused on like, what is your purpose? What are you supposed to be doing? And Spirit is saying, you're already doing it, okay? Keep facing your true north. Your north node, Scorpio, talks about your divine path and what you are put here on this earth to do. And some of you are already doing it, okay? And the spirit is saying, just keep facing your true north. Stop overthinking. Stop worrying about what's going to happen next and in the future and what's going to come. And just keep doing what spirit wants you to do. Now, if you're not working on your divine path at this time, Scorpio, then this part may not be for you. But some of you guys are overthinking this whole process and you're already doing exactly what you are meant to do. What you are doing or you are birthing a new age. You're birthing a time to have new creations in your life, okay? New experiences, new romance, new jobs, new places to live, new, like every new experience you can think of. You're birthing these creations right now. It's being birthed right here before you. Now, you may, may not be able to see it tangibly, okay? But it is happening behind the scenes. At this present moment, you could be seeing 111 or 1111 very heavily, okay, because spirit is trying to, it's like the universe is trying to communicate to you and let you know, like, stop worrying about this shit, Scorpio, stop overthinking, stop stressing yourself out, because you're already doing what you're supposed to be doing, okay? You're birthing these new creations, these new opportunities in your life, and you're dreaming a new world into being, because we weren't happy with our old world and the old way of being, okay, we wanted some new shit in our life, okay, so you start manifesting, you start writing down on pieces of paper, you start making your vision boards, you start doing it and and taking the necessary steps to create this new you, to create your new world. Spirit could be wanting some of you to focus on hydrating. Okay? At this time, you know, it's very important, especially I feel like some of our, our bodies are going like through this, this integration period. You, you could be feeling very tired, very sluggish, you know, not eating habits kind of thrown off, okay? But just make sure that you are resting and drinking plenty of water. Connecting with crystals could be very helpful for some of you if you are into crystals. Crystals are the keepers of wisdom and light, offering a connection to other realms. You can talk to them out loud or tele telepathically, as well as in your dreams and meditations. They can inspire different energies within you. They can amplify your intentions. They can attract, absorb, and repel energies. Whatever you're working on, there is a crystal for that purpose. You guys, I haven't been able to get into the crystals like I want to. I have lots and lots and lots of crystals. And I do know, I am familiar with the majority one, especially that has to do with the chakras. But like you said, there is a crystal for everything. If you need a protection, there is a crystal for that. You know, if you if you want money, there is a crystal for that. If you, whatever it is, love, rose quartz, we got all type of crystals for everything. So some of you may need to look into crystals, read about it, get books. I got a book on crystals now. I still haven't really gotten a chance to read and get into. We also have pleasure. Now, this could be doing something to self-pleasure yourself, or this could be just finding out like what makes you happy, what turns you on, what, what makes you pleasurable, or, or what do you enjoy. This has to do with exploring your body here, coming more in tune with your body. Like, what is your body craving? Where do you crave to be touched? What's your sense of the spot? You know what you like. Sometimes she is, you got to find out for yourself before the next person can find out and you tell them, right? All right. So let's get into this tea leaf, y'all. We got the claw here. It says, be careful. Do not take risks. So at this time, this could be, you know, a time that you don't want to be risky or, or, you know, maybe start 
a new venture because we do have the new moon that's coming up. So you may want to wait until about that time. Or there could be something that you may not want to take some type of risk in. We also have shield. So you are being protected at this time. But there is or there could be a situation that you have to defend yourself. You may have to stand up for yourself and fight for your rights and what you know is right. So you have this shield here that's here to protect you. But somebody here may have to defend themselves against someone. All right. But we have whatever you're doing, Scorpio, you are guaranteed success here because you are a star. Because remember, you're birthing a new age. And for some of you, this new age that you're birthing includes you becoming a whole star out here. Okay. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. Tell us more. What is that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know at this time? Messages for my Scorpios. I love you, Scorpio. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? So we know someone here may have to defend themselves. We're going to clarify, okay? Ooh, okay, so we have a younger woman. It talks about dealings or a relationship with a younger woman. So some of you can have dealings or a relationship with a younger woman here. You could be dealing with a younger woman. This could be someone that there could be a misunderstanding. Oh, let me see this other part. Well, so we have wealth as well fell on the floor. Okay, so we have your astrological houses in like the, this could be second house energy. And then we have misunderstanding. So that can be a misunderstanding between you and someone here. This could be you and a younger woman. So Scorpio, there's about to be some type of opportunity or windfall that I feel like is going to bring in this wealth for you. So there's about to be some type of opportunity or windfall that's coming your way. Because remember, your birth in a new age. Thank you, Spirit. And in this new age come new opportunities, windfalls. Everything that you can ever imagine. So we're going to get into it and see what's going to happen with this wall. Messages for my Scorpios, Holy Spirit. What is it that my beautiful and my handsome Scorpios need to know? Messages for my Scorpios. Tell us more. What is it that Scorpio needs to know, Holy Spirit? What is it that Scorpio needs to know? Any more messages for my Scorpio? Okay, Scorpio, we got rose. Okay, so baby, romance is in the air, Scorpio. Y'all know it's our season, baby. This is our time. So you could be feeling this romance. Somebody could be feeling romance towards you. Ah, shit. And we got lightning, okay? Control your anger or you will be sorry. Because remember, there's going to be a misunderstanding here. Okay, so we definitely going to clarify this. Messages for my Scorpios. Okay, compliments from an admirer. Okay, so we do have romances in the air, baby. Messages for my Scorpios. Club. Someone will try to, <laughs> someone will try to make you do something against your wheel here. Okay, let's get into this. Let's see what this is. Let's go on and get into this. Let me put these to the side. Okay. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Let's clarify. We're going to clarify each one of these. Okay, so tell us about this younger woman. Messages for my... Now, tell us, yeah, tell us about this younger woman. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this younger woman. Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. Tell us more about this younger woman. Who is this younger woman? Oh, for some of you, this could be a Libra. This could be someone that's dealing with some type of emotional pain here, some type of loss, some type of trauma here. So you can be this younger woman. Maybe you, you're in separation with someone. You're experiencing some type of sorrow or emotional pain from this separation. This could be talking about some type of a loss or a trauma. Tell us more, Holy Spirit, about this three of fours. Okay, we got the hermit. 
Okay, so there's a younger woman who is lonely. This is someone that you can be in separation with, a Scorpio. You can be representing this younger woman. But this is someone who I feel like has been secluding themselves. But it's because they're lonely. It's like they've been restricting themselves to like feel and be around other people. It's like someone here would rather, rather like wallow in their sorrow. For some of you, this could be a Libra or a Virgo. Doesn't have to be. All right, so tell us about this misunderstanding. Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this misunderstanding. Who is Scorpio going to have a misunderstanding with? Tell us about misunderstanding. Tell us about this wall. Who is this misunderstanding with? Oh, wow. Okay, so Scorpio, this is going to be someone that you see this Ten of Cups with. This is someone who I feel like provides you with some type of security. Tell us about the Ten of Cups, Holy Spirit. Who is this misunderstanding going to be with? Tell us about the Ten of Cups. Okay, conflict. A fight. Who is this fight going to be with? What is this fight about? Messages for my Scorpio, Holy Spirit. What is this fight about? Tell us about the Five of Swords. What is this fight about? Change. Setback. Someone losing control. Hold on. I'm getting to it, Scorpio. Tell us about this Wheel of Fortune. For some of you, this could be someone that you like, this could be family that you can be having a misunderstanding with. But this is someone, whoever this is, this is someone who wants to cause some type of conflict. Like whoever this is, they want to do this shit on purpose. This is someone who views you as competition. I feel like this is someone that's not happy with the changes that's going on in your life. Because I feel like the wheel is not turning in this person's favor, which is causing a lot of setbacks in their life. Tell us more, Holy Spirit. Give me one more about this misunderstanding. For some of you, this could be dealing with a Leo, Taurus, Aquarius, or another Scorpio. We got Aquarius and Pisces. Tell us about this misunderstanding. Yeah. Nine of Cups in reverse. Yeah, because they're not satisfied with life. So some of you guys, whoever this misunderstanding could be with, this could be with family members, this could be with friends, someone close to you. But it's all because of this person is jealous. They're jealous of things that are starting to go your way. The wheel is starting to turn in your favor. And this person is experiencing a lot of bad luck in their life. You can be dealing with a, you got heavy Pisces, heavy Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, and Taurus. Okay, so tell us about this lightning bolt. Messages for my Scorpio. It's like somebody really, somebody wants some smoke with your Scorpio, okay? Somebody got, what, uh, uh, um, uh, what Lotto say? Somebody got some imaginary smoke, which means they got a problem with you, Scorpio, but you ain't get really giving a damn about this person, okay? So somebody got some imaginary smoke with you. It's like they got an issue with you because of shit going on your way. Like, what, what type of issue is that to have? Tell us about lightning. Messages about messages for my Scorpios, two of swords, okay? So this is someone who has who is emotionally detached, someone that's indecisive. Okay, tell us more about this two of swords. Heavy Libra energy. Someone that's experiencing a lot of anxiety and fear. What are they fearing, Holy Spirit? What is this? Tell us about this fear and anxiety. What is this breaking point? Messages for my Scorpio. Tell us about this Nine of Swords energy. Heavy air energy in this reading. Look at this. Nine of Swords. <laughs> Heavy Aquarius here. This is someone who fears some type of big change happening. Tell us about this Holy Spirit. Why would Scorpio be, who is this that needs to control their anger? Why does, who is this person that needs to control their anger, Holy Spirit? All right. Okay. 
I feel like Scorpio, whoever this is that's feeling regretful, remorseful, sorrow, disappointed in themselves over this relationship and their issues, this is somebody, Scorpio, I feel like they, oh Lord Jesus, like they, they're not doing too good mentally. Like their mental health is not doing too great. And I feel like this is someone who, I feel like they're really going to be trying to get their point across to get you to, to understand something or make you believe something that you're not going. And I feel like for some of you guys, it's about to lose their damn mind. Like, that's why the Spirit is saying, defend yourself. Some of you guys, you may have to, like, literally defend yourself against this person. This could be somebody, Scorpio. I'm not going to say they're going to be violent or whatever, but because they're not, their emotional level is not safe that's why spirit is saying be careful don't take risks some of you guys this is someone that's wanting to talk to you right now they're wanting to reach out some of you they've already reached out and you've been contemplating maybe meeting up with this person or talking to them but from looking at this read spirit like hell to the now don't talk to this person don't meet up with this person right here because i'm picking up the energy of somebody like i'm telling you control your anger or you're gonna be sorry like some of you guys, shit, y'all ain't playing. You know what I'm saying? I already had one family member say that they doing some shadow boxing. Like, yeah, they, you have to bring the skills out, boo. Because somebody here is like, they going to be, I'm telling you, they are one. Because they're going to try to make you do something against your will. I can't make this up. This is someone who I feel like Scorpio is trying to get you to see things get their way. Or they're going to be trying to make you do something like, Scorpio, you got to talk to me. You got to hear me out. You got to you be like, man, I'm not fucking with you. I'm not talking to you. And then it's like this person going to like... Just do some old crazy shit. You gonna be looking at them like you don't lost your goddamn mind. Like you for real. Cause you don't want me to get because I feel <laughs> I feel like for some of you guys, it's gonna take a minute to click like this person lost their mind. Cause you're gonna be cause you ain't never seen this side of them. You know what I'm saying? Like they're gonna do something crazy, like throw some shit, like do something. And you're gonna have to go on the molly wop their ass right quick, Scorpio. I'm just gonna keep it real with you. Some of y'all gonna have to molly wop somebody. If you don't know what molly wop means, let me have to whoop somebody's ass, Scorpio, okay? All right, we're going to get about this energy, y'all. I just have to give you the messages and let you know what you need to know, okay? Um, like I said, heavy, heavy, heavy Aquarius energy. Heavy Libra energy. We got Scorpio, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces. It's very heavy in this reading as well, okay? So if you're dealing with any one of them signs, y'all be where. Okay, Scorpio, that's all I have for you. I love you guys. Be careful and make sure you stay protected at all times, okay? All right, y'all. Stay blessed.